I've had a few people ask me about the bed on my 85 Toyota, so I thought I'd make a quick video to explain a little bit more about it. Years ago, when I was looking to build an off-road trailer, I spotted this military surplus box uh, on the local classifies. This is for a quarter-ton trailer. This one is actually the M101 Canadian model. However, it's very similar to the M100, the M416, and the M416A1. They're all quarter-ton military trailers. This one is the Canadian version made in Winnipeg. The other three are different variants that were made over the years by different military contractors. To prepare the frame for the new military box, I ended up cutting off the end of the frame. Once I cut off the end of the frame, I ended up doing this support across the back with 2x4 180 wall. What I also did is I moved the supports for the factory bed to the inside of the frame. The only other modification I made to the box to mount it to the frame was to cut off the rear spring hanger. The front spring hanger is actually still here and it's what I'm using to mount the tube fenders to. Now these tube fenders started off as a trail gear item. I took the trail gear tube fenders and then I widened them so that they matched the width of the front fenders. And then afterwards, what I did is I skinned them with 1 8 steel. These lights are just the standard military lights. They're found on a lot of trailers, a lot of other military vehicles. These ones are actually the aluminum version. You can get a composite version, but these ones are aluminum and they're fully sealed to keep out the water. Where the frame drops down to go under the cab, there's a gap there from the bottom of the box to the frame. And what I ended up using was the old skid plate that went underneath the cross member for the transfer case. And this way, it covers up the wiring and the uh, hoses that go for the fuel injection system. I also mounted an old army cam on the side for recovery equipment. On the other side, to cover up the same gap, I used an old World War II jerry can and the uh, jerry can holder that were on the Willys Jeeps. If you ever wondered what those round protrusions are on the outside, they're actually cargo tie downs on the inside that are recessed into the tub. That way when you're carrying any cargo, it doesn't obstruct the cargo that you're carrying. Inside, I just did a simple bed line. So I hope you enjoyed a quick rundown on the box. And if you're wondering if it's reversible, no. I shortened the frame, I moved the brackets to the inside of the frame, and I ended up cutting off some of the parts on the box that were used for the uh, leaf spring suspension. Uh, as well as I welded the fenders to that box. So it's pretty much just for this truck, custom. Uh, I don't plan on moving it back to the factory box, so no worries there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on the truck. See you next time.